Welcome back to 30 Days of Mania, WrestleMania 26. Well done. Thank you. Uh, so, if you can hear in the background, it was The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels as the main event. And we watched just that. Um, that was the only match we watched. I think this is the only time since WrestleMania 1 that we just watched a single match. Um, but it was you know, the best match in the show. It was, Did we not watch something else? No, it was the main event of the show. 26, I think, was a really good WrestleMania. There were some great matches. Uh, Rey Mysterio of CM Punk, I thought, was really good. Uh, Jericho, Edge for the World Heavyweight title was really good. I even enjoyed John Cena and Batista for the WWE title. I even liked Vincent Mann versus Bret Hart. Everyone hates that match. I actually kind of enjoy it. It is what it is. Um, the opening was sung by Anastasia, I think. Something like that. Is that the the, the word? Anastasia. No, no, it wasn't. No, that's someone else, isn't it? Yeah. Who am I thinking? It's something. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Let's just go with that. No. I, yeah, yeah. You talk about Anastasia yeah, Shawn Michaels, yeah, yeah. and I'll look up what. I'm... Whoa! I'm not talking about that. What? Oh. You actually it was know his something about retirement much. You, yeah. It was. Oh, I don't know. I said the last time that my. Yeah. The, the, the first one is my favorite, I guess, between Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. Um, what I love the most about this match is the ending where Shawn Michaels can't, can't even stand and Undertaker's like, stay down, and, and then Shawn Michaels just crawls his way up Undertaker's body, and he does the thing and he slaps him in the face, and that makes Undertaker see red and just a tombstone on him and that's it and I was so sad because this is the and that was the last you know of it and then when it's over Undertaker just carries Shawn Michaels to the ringside to a call right makes him stand up says you one touch son of a bitch right one touch son of a bitch and then he uh, shakes his hand and hugs him. Yeah. And then it's very emotional because everybody knew that if Shawn Michaels lost, that was it. Everybody loved Shawn Michaels. And so they should have. And you can know, you can see as well. Take was almost his, his lip was quivering a little bit as well. He was a was bit. Was it? Yeah. Uh, and Shawn's crying and everyone kind of saying thank you, Shawn, and all this and bowing down in the front row. Um, he has his uh, goodbye speech later on. Yeah, he did the goodbye speech the night after on the wall, um, addressed everyone, that was cool. Um, so yeah, I think it was a great match. At the time I said it was better than the first one, I, I don't think it is. Because um, I feel like, how could they top that? Uh, I don't think they did, but it was still a brilliant match. Um, they're both great. But I think the first one has the edge, because it really was so unexpected that they'd have a match that good, even though they were both great. It was just an absolute classic, and this one was not far behind it, you know, some great stuff, some great kind of storytelling, psychology, you know, and just... The build up to it, mm -hmm. where Shawn Michaels was going more or less crazy, being obsessed, I was going to say possessed then, <laughs> with um, Wrestling Undertaker one more time, saying like, well, if, if I can't wrestle him or if I can't beat him, then my career is over. Have no career. And yeah, we taking it so serious, and I thought it was turning heel. Did you hear someone that? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. It's just Lily messing around downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was turning heel, and Lily's like, no, no, and I'm like, well, is it over then? No, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what? What was I saying no to? That. That he was turning heel. He oh, didn't right. think that he was turning heel. Yeah. I knew that was it though, I knew it was going to be his last match, and uh, yeah, he stuck to his weird. His, his weird? His weird? He stuck to his word. Uh, he stuck to. <laughs> stuck. He stuck to his word, and he didn't wrestle again, even though any time he appears now we get the old one more match thing, and I just, yeah, I just think people are stupid. It's like, it, it would ruin it, I think, to wrestle again, even though Evan would love to see it, and as he said recently, he knows he could be as good as he was, but um, it's just one of those things. Anyway, match is great. Love the ending, you know, real great kind of drama and uh, just, you know, really, really nice fitting send off to Shawn Michaels. And again, as I said before, it's crazy that um, these guys near the end of their career could have a match so good and indeed Shawn Michaels had 
one of his best matches that was his final match. So, uh, in addition to watching the um, you know, the opening of the show, we watched the, the build-up video package for Undertaker Shawn Michaels. We also went on YouTube and found the um, build-up video that they, they aired on Raw about three weeks before WrestleMania, something like that. It was the, the night after the Elimination Chamber, 2010, and it was set to um, Placebo's cover of Running Up That Hill. One of the best videos WWE's ever produced. Um, they, they since released it on some kind of Blu-ray, I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't the WrestleMania one. And I was like, oh great, it's on finally available to own, but it was um, they changed the music, which is a real shame and it really hurt it. But there's no official version of it, you just have to find a fairly low quality version on YouTube, but you know, it was it's brilliant. It's worth seeing even in low quality. Yeah. I'm glad we actually saw it before we watched this. So there you go, that was it. There's Sean on the top of the stage now. Saying goodbye to his fans for the last time as an active competitor, and it was Fantasia who performed the uh, the, the annual rendition of America the Beautiful. Yeah, you can see why I got confused. Fantasia, what kind of name is that? Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess that's a good time to to end the video. Anything else you want to add? I think she might be a stripper as well. Why? Fantasia. Why? It sounds like a stripper name. Does it? Does it not? Do you watch movies? Yes, you do. Yeah, I don't go to strip clubs though, so I'm not. No, but there have been movies with strip stuff. Strip stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what Magic Mike? You mean your favorite movie? No. <laughs> Just kidding. No, they have one really long, impressive shot in it. Okay. Not including stripping. When you say a long, impressive shot, you mean like a camera move, right? My god, you would wish for something else, wouldn't you? What? Well, you. Back to strip names like Carmen Electra or. Wait, wait, uh, who's that again? <laughs> some. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Yeah, Fantasia yeah and then. And, uh, bubbles and. Starlight. <laughs> Starlight. There probably is a stripper out there called Starlight. Diamond and. Diamond, yeah, I get you. Uh, Alright then, fair enough. I see your point. Sprinkles. I see your point. <laughs> Well, the pay-per-view is now replaying again because it's playing on VLC right now, so uh, we're actually... Uh, Fantasia! Oh, we got Fantasia, here she is. And uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with WrestleMania 27. <laughs> oh, what did you... Uh, we didn't comment on the... This is going ridiculously off thing now, but what do you think of her performance? We didn't comment on that, we just said who it was. Oh, it was Sheep. What? I'm kidding. She's good, it's just... I don't know. But I don't even remember. By this, po by this point, now. by this point, whenever a woman sings this at WrestleMania, it's the same kind of thing. It's the same kind of... You know. I think I was complaining about how no one can sing, but they have to scream? Yeah. In fact, at the end of this one, she proper screams America, and it's a bit too much, actually, so. <laughs> we'll end on that one. Thank you for watching. Bye.